How do you get a flaky crust? And how do you keep it? So we're gonna make this pie crust by teaching you the biscuit method. So first we are gonna have our flour and salt and we're just gonna whisk it around just to get the salt mixed in there. Good, okay. And now we have our sh vegetable shortening that we measured earlier. We're just gonna put all of it in there. And how we do it is we like to have our little salad hands and we'll take our shortening and put it across our fingers and just flake it off. So for the pie that we're making today, we will be making a mealy crust. And all that means is tighter together. So our flakiness that we're looking for, for the mealy part is when you look at the very bottom of the chip bag and you have all of those crumbs left over. That's what we're, lo what we're looking for with our mealy crust, okay? Whenever we go to do blind bake or a single crust pie, the mealy crust is what we will do for that. Okay, so this is what we're looking for whenever we do a mealy crust. So we don't have any big pieces here. If you do have any big pieces like this one, we're just gonna flake those across, okay? So as we go with our liquid here, we like to go a little bit at a time. You can always add your liquid, but you can't take it out. So we're gonna add just a little bit here just to get us started. A tablespoon of heavy cream, okay? So I've added half of my water. And this is the part where a lot of people like to go in and start to squish and knead it. We are gonna stick to our, what I call the salad fingers here. So we're just gonna toss it and let that all moisten together. So when you pick it up and it holds together, there's no pieces falling apart. That's how we know we're done. If it's glistening a little bit, that is totally fine. We're gonna chill this and we'll use our dusting flour for whenever we roll it. Okay, we'll put our dough in here and I like to fold over one half of the plastic wrap and press it down into a disc. That'll help it chill a lot quicker, but also be easier for us to cut, to split the half. This dough will make two pie crusts. So we're just gonna fold that. So now we're gonna chill our pie dough for 20 to 30 minutes. It's always best if you can have it chill the night before so that it's a lot easier to roll out but we're gonna let our dough chill and rest. 